what is gas pressure understanding the concept of gas pressure and applications of gas pressure firstly let me teach you that what is pressure well consider a wooden sheet let the length of this wooden sheet is 2 meter and its width is 1 meter so the area of this wooden sheet is 2 meter into 1 meter is equal to 2 meter squared Now there is a ball of mass 0.5 kg above this wooden sheet. Can you calculate the weight of this ball? Well, the easy trick to calculate its weight is multiplying its mass by 10. 0.5 into 10 is equal to 5 newton. So the weight of this ball is 5 newton. We know that weight is the downward force of any object. Now this ball falls and hits the wooden sheet. So we say that collision occurred between the ball and the wooden sheet. I mean ball exerted force F on this area A or I can say that ball exerts 5 newton force on 2 meter squared area of wooden sheet. Hence there are two parameters force and area. The relationship between force and area is called pressure. I mean force per unit area is known as a pressure. We write pressure is equal to force upon area. For example, the ball exerts 5 newton force on area 2 meter squared. So I get P is equal to 5 newton upon 2 meter squared. I get P is equal to 2.5 newton per meter squared. So the pressure on this wooden sheet is 2.5 newton per meter squared. Here, let me ask you. Do you understand P is equal to 2.5 newton per meter squared? Well, it means that every 1 meter squared area of this wooden sheet experiences 2.5 newton force. Let me repeat it. Every 1 meter squared area of this wooden sheet experiences 2.5 newton force. Also remember that the second SI unit of pressure is Pascal. 1 newton per meter squared is equal to 1 pascal so i can write 2.5 newton per meter squared or 2.5 pascal to conclude this slide we can say that pressure teaches us that how much force is exerted on 1 meter squared area or p is equal to force upon area now how can we increase the pressure well we know that P is equal to F upon A. It means that if we increase the size of force, pressure is increased. Secondly, if we decrease the size of area, pressure is increased. So either increase the force or decrease the area in order to increase the pressure. For example, consider this knife. It has very thin edge. It means that it has very small area. We know that the smaller the area the larger would be the pressure so it will be very sharp and we will cut things very easily by it now understanding the concept of gas pressure well consider gas enclosed in this container we know that there are millions or billions of gas molecules present inside this container which are randomly moving no i trace the motion of only one gas particle this gas particle will move and it will collide with the wall of the container so it will exert force on unit area of the container which we call pressure secondly it will move in this direction and it will collide with this wall of the container so it will again exert force on unit area of the container which we call pressure the stirring collision like this molecule all the gas molecules exert pressure on the wall of the container let me repeat it during collision like this molecule all the gas molecules exert pressure on the wall of the container to conclude this we say that gas molecules exert pressure on the wall of the container now how we define gas pressure Well the pressure exerted by the gas molecules on the wall of a container during collision is called gas pressure for example consider gas in this closed container there are millions or billions molecules of gas present inside it 
these all molecule of the gas are colliding with the wall of the container and they exert pressure. For instance, if one molecule can exert 0.001 Newton per meter squared pressure on the wall of a container, then imagine that how much pressure would be exerted by millions or billion molecules of gas on this container. Also remember that we measure gas pressure in atmosphere. One atmosphere is equal to 100,000 Pascal. Thus note it down that gas pressure is the pressure of gas molecules exerted on the wall of a container. Finally, let me teach you some applications of gas pressure. It is due to the gas pressure that we inhale and exhale the air. Secondly, the balloons expand when you blow air in it because the air pressure inside the balloon is larger than outside. Thirdly, gas pressure is used to fill the tires of vehicles which enable us to move. So gas pressure play a very important role in our daily life. I hope that you have learned all about the gas pressure.